Hello, this is Mike with NoStressMike.com and what we're going to do is we're going to form a hoster. I'm going to form a hoster for this Glock. This is the way it's going to be. It's what we're looking for. First thing we do is put it in water for one minute. One minute in water. What I'll do is soften up the leather so we can work with it. Uh, probably have to open it up a little bit, get the water inside. There we go. And uh, the tools you're going to be needing will be a plastic bottle with a rounded bottom. Okay, you're going to need that. Um, a spoon. I got a cheap spoon here, but it's better to get a, a better quality spoon, something heavier. But this will work. And I also use uh, this is a form uh, a tool for forming leather, uh, for shaping leather. So that's what this is. Okay. Now let's see what we got here. Make sure. Looks like it's all. It's been a minute. And it looks like it got all the water. Okay. Alrighty. Now the the leather's much softer. This is really thick leather I've got here. So what you got? You stick it in, and then you start wiggling it. You're going to think there's no way it's going to fit, but it'll fit. And it's going to be a tight fit, and that's okay. Okay. Okay, now what we want is we want this thing to be centered. Have the gun centered in the holster. The reason is it's going to be left-handed or right-handed. The holster will be, so we need to be able to have it centered so either side it'll work. That and the sight won't get caught as you draw it. It'll come out smoothly. Okay, now we've got that. Okay, you take your plastic bottle, and you know where the trigger guard is, just start kind of working it and working it. And you do the same thing on both sides. You want to try to do it kind of equally on both sides. This way the gun will stay centered in the holster. Just keep doing it. Keep working it. Be patient. Okay, now we're going to try the spoon. We're going to get it inside the, the trigger guard. Okay, then we did the same thing on the other side. Say all the little. See, we're starting to start to take shape. You just keep working it. Now, uh, like I was saying, this hosters will be a left or right-handed draw, and it'll be a 
in the belt or on the outside of the belt. It would be a, you could use it for a cross draw or a, just a regular draw on the side or on the on the back or in the small of the back. And uh, the way you shape this will determine how hard it's going to stay in your your holster. You can make it really tight or make it loose. The difference between this and something you would buy normally, you know, you would think, well, I'd want something like a policeman would use or the military would use, stuff like that. Now that that's good if you're in the military or you're a police. But you gotta remember they're concerned about losing their weapon, either by somebody taking it away from them or when they're crawling around or jumping fences or whatever it is they do. But uh, somebody like me, I'm uh, 62 years old. I'm not gonna be climbing no walls or doing any of that kind of stuff. Not with this holster anyway. This is something that's convenient. It's easy to carry. It's real easy to get to. Uh, matter of fact, I got in a gunfight in a convenience store. A gang came in to rob it. And I had this type of a holster. And uh, I was able to draw with my left hand, put it in my right hand while I was being watched. And uh, that's why I really like this. I've modified it even more so it's even better now than what it was at that time. And uh, uh, like I say, so to me, access to the weapon is more important than if I'm going to be running around or jumping out of airplanes or helicopters. And, and uh, so I want to be able to get to it easily. And uh, that's what this poster was designed for. It's really for a concealed carry. And it's to be able to get to it, to use it. Unlike a lot of carries, you can't even get to it. I say they're seeing there's multiple carries on it you've got multiple uses for it you can use it as a cross draw if you're sitting in your car or in the office a uh, cross draw is really good for sitting down so if you're sitting in the office or you know something like that cross draw will work and then uh You want something comfortable in normal conditions, it'll be on the back and uh, with a small of the back. And uh, now, see, a lot of times I carry it on my back or the small of the back, and uh, anytime I sense something's not right, I use a lot of zone defense. Zone defense is you figure out what's going on before it happens to you. So a lot of times I'll sense there's something's not right. And I can draw the weapon and have it and be holding it ready to start shooting. And nobody even knows that I'm armed. And the last thing they know that it's I've got it out and I'm ready to shoot. So that's why uh, I like this holster. And that's why I've worked so hard on modifying this thing to get it even better and better.